tell me, very many people think that their home loan repayment is only that, only the home loan repayment. If you're looking at a million rand home loan right now, you're looking at a 9,000 rand per month, approximately 9,000 rand a month home loan repayment. But there are always other costs attached to this. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So th there's actually, when one embarks on this journey of, of buying a property, there's, there's a whole lot of expenditure that goes hand in hand with that, that one typically um, does not think of. Um, for an example, uh, moving from one property to the next, uh, the removal cost for the removal company. Uh, you know, typically if you're upgrading, you'll have a few more windows, so you know, you might need a full new set of curtains. Um, getting the DSTV dish moved and reinstalled, uh, you know, you could go on. Uh, th there's there's quite a quite a number of expenses that one typically just actually um, forgets about. Something that people often forget about is insurance on the home loan. That also adds to your monthly repayments, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So the the property needs to be insured that uh, you know, if even for bed, uh, the property would burn down. Uh, that you wouldn't sit without a property and having to still uh, meet the home loan uh, repayment requirement. So, uh, so yes, the insurance could easily be a couple of hundred rand, depending on obviously the, the value of your property. Uh, and and one needs to we, one needs to consider that. So, in addition to the insurance expense, there is typically a monthly admin fee as well. It's not material in the, in the home loans uh, context. It's typically around 50, 57 rand at, at most. Uh, as well as an initiation fee that uh, that the bank, bank charges, uh, that will be no more than 5,700 uh, governed by the National Credit Act. Uh, but as you can see, you know, all of these expenses um, do add up. Uh, might uh, pr place might need a, a paint of coat of the uh, of the, uh, coat of paint after the previous owner took down some of his paintings. Uh, you know, so there's a, a lot of very practical, small little expenses that one one doesn't all, always see coming. Uh, and they, you know, we find that they actually add up. So customers need to understand that not only the the deposit that they might have to pay, and it's all of these uh, little other expenses. Um, obviously, in terms of uh, getting the uh, property on your name, uh, you know, these transfer expenses that uh, that comes into it, uh, as well as bond registration cost. Uh, so one needs to really go into this thing uh, quite prepared for for these expenses that will be coming your way. Can we expand a little bit on the initial costs? of getting a home loan registered. Yeah. What are those costs? Who gets paid what? Okay, so if one would have to look at that. I think let's firstly look at the, at the bank's perspective. So uh, the, the limit of the initiation fees that banks can charge on a, on a home loan is 5,700 Rand, gov governed by the, the National Credit Act. Um, so that would be an upfront cost. They're basically the only upfront cost from the bank's perspective. So um, from an attorney perspective, there are uh, fees that the transferring attorney, so you get two attorneys involved in the property transferring process. Uh, you get the transferring attorney uh, as well as the bond registration attorney. So in terms of transfer cost, the, the bulk of the transfer cost is, is really the duty that gets levied uh, by, by government. Um, that's typically up to uh, between 5 to 6, 7 percent uh, of the value of the property, depending on, on, on the actual value of the transaction. Um, and then there's also a bond registration cost um, that the bond uh, attorney levies uh, to, to, to the homeowner. So, um, you know, this, this could easily uh, add up to about 10 percent of, of the value of the property in, in, in terms of actually getting the property in your name. Again, do you find that people are not aware enough of all of these costs? Yeah, so I think um, these costs are not always advocated to customers at the point of buying the property. Yes. You know, with, with all due respect, this that agent is so busy trying to sell the deal, uh, you know, that to, to now give all of this information that might just put customers off. So it's, it's really important conversations that needs to be had with pers prospective homeowners. And unfortunately, sometimes they only come to the realization of, of these fees um, a bit further into the property, uh, you know, application process, uh, at which point uh, they've already put in an offer. Uh, they've already uh, been approved for a home loan. Now, if, if they didn't include all of these things in their budget and in their financial plan, it could be a bit of a rude awakening potentially. Could not having money available for these costs stall the home loan application? So um, one, one, yeah, one, one needs to actually uh, pay, pay those costs to affect the property transfer. 
Um, the unfortunate thing is uh, what we have seen is that in cases where customers didn't provide for these expenses, uh, they could go in now, draw on unsecured lending facilities. Uh, you know, so um, it's, it's not ideal because the uh, interest rates on those are, are typically quite high. So if you have to now go and borrow using an unsecured loan or your overdraft or your credit card, uh, you would need to restore financial discipline quite quickly by trying to then you know, pay that off uh, as quickly as you can. So uh, all of these things could actually uh, place a lot of stumbling blocks in the, in the path of the consumer. So it's, it's always better to understand these up front. Uh, we, we do have a lot of tools again on the FMD web website. So if we could get, get customers to go and do a bit more research up front. Um, uh, to really understand what they're in for. It's, uh, it's all transparently disclosed and, and we do try and help customers, but unfortunately that is a, something a customer will have to take uh, responsibility That's for really themselves uh, and then really understand uh, all of these costs that they might be in for. Something that's also becoming quite common is where um, consumers will take out money on their home loan for something like a end of year holiday. What do you yeah. say about that? Is it something that you would suggest? So uh, th there's again, there's two sides of that. So you always get a financially savvy and disciplined person. Uh, the, the home loan is, is your cheapest form of finance out there. Uh, in 99% of cases, you will not find a loan at a better interest rate than what your home loan would, would offer you. So if you were to draw that, let's say 20 or 30,000, 50,000, uh, depending on obviously yes. the kind of holiday oh, you're looking you for, want. from your bond, um, that's not necessarily at that point uh, a really bad financial decision. If, if you pay that off quickly, um, so if, if you were to try and then repay that on a, on a six month basis, so there's nothing stopping you from ever increasing your repayment. So you might have had your initial repayment. Uh, if you now use a further 50,000 Rand, you might just want to increase your repayment a little more. So there's no, there's no requirement, you don't have to now only pay the minimum contractual repayment, in which case you will actually be financing that holiday of yours over 20 years. Again, and it comes down to responsible borrowing then. Absolutely. So, so uh, financing a holiday and paying it off over 20 years is just not a sustainable way of doing something because the next year, uh, you know, maybe you also want a holiday or a couple of years thereafter. But if you now basically put all of that on your homeland and finance it over 20 years, eventually, uh, you know, that, that, that opportunity will, you, you won't have the ability to, to keep on doing that.